Gaffer, um, top one to take, but what was your assessment of, of that performance and result? Um, yeah, the result's obviously tough. Um, performance second half was good. Uh, yeah, I think it was just like a very opposite game to... Oh, sorry, similar game to what we had down in Exeter. Do you know, we had two games that were very difficult and won them both when maybe Exeter dominated the ball. And it was uh, it felt a little bit like that first half today. Um, we'd a lot of the ball, but we didn't really create. Um, second half felt completely different. Uh, yeah, we were very good second half, but we didn't. Uh, we gave ourselves too much to do. The fact that both their goals came from kind of deflection, does that make it a little bit more difficult to take? No, that's football. Also, how we block shots is, is really important. I think... Um, Maybe the first goal uh, come f comes from our own throwing in that sort of mid-pitch, but uh, they've obviously done very well to, to block us in that area. No, at that moment, I think I was more disappointed with... Uh, look, we conceded a goal. Uh, we actually started the first 10 minutes OK. We had a big chance with Tello's header, Martial's header. So it was OK. I'm not saying it was it was good, but it was... Um, and then when a team does score a goal from distance, you, you have to stay calm, you have to stay patient. And I'd probably say... Yeah, everyone on the pitch and probably um, definitely some some behind me in the in the support. We just lost that patience a bit. Look, we have to play a certain way. Uh, when teams have a set up in a certain way, and I respect every team, but when they set up and it's a little bit deeper, we have to be really patient. Um, and uh, yeah, we definitely weren't as patient in that first half. Second half, you see the difference. If we take a team side to side and we wait for wait for the moment to pass forward, then we can hurt teams. If we continually just look to go forward all the time, then um, we'll turn the game into a a 50-50 a basketball game. Talk about the second half, you made three very attacking changes at the break and they made a big difference, didn't they? Were you pleased with all your, your substitutions and the impact they had? Yeah, it was, yeah. They, uh, look, uh, I said to the players, I won't say anything different to here as I did to the players. Just in that first half, we lacked the same intensity without the ball uh, that we had against Peterborough. Um, so we allowed, look, I know we gave away two deflective goals, but in that first half, I still didn't like what we did without it. Um, yeah, everyone that came on, they added a, a certain uh, amount of intensity to it. And um, yeah, we uh, it's a game, yeah, look, we got beat. But um, the actual performance second half wasn't uh, wasn't a bad one. Like the first 10 minutes of the first half, it felt like the second their second goal in the second half again came, I suppose, against the runner play again. We started really well, didn't we? And then they go down the other end and score. Is that is that just football sometimes? Yeah, we make a mistake. We don't clear it properly. And um, But yeah, that's, uh, that's also the life of a football player you do some amazing things and then there's moments you make a mistake and if the opponent punishes it uh, punishes you as a team it hurts but um yeah that's also the way it was even at 2-0 that's one thing i would say about the fans and the players at 2-0 down um it felt far better they felt like a real alignment compared to 1-0 in that first half second half uh team in the sport were brilliant it really was we look we we can see two goals but uh, the overall performance wasn't one that we um I can really be critical of in the second half. Um, yeah, but the result's still tough to take. Just a word on Charlie Kelman, his home debut, and he looked really lively, didn't he, in that second half, and got a deserved goal. Yeah, no, he did. He was. Uh, look, Josh has been very good for us uh, in a different role. He's been very good as that sort of target man. But I brought Charlie to have that sort of speed in behind, and he showed that. Um, he's been very good uh, in terms of his finishing at training. So, yeah, he's a goal threat. I also like what Johnny Smith did. Um, in a really wide position, so I thought he was a big threat. All of them, yeah. Cal Mack had had his moments. Uh, Chrissy as well, trying to find space. So it was um, substitutes did very well. Uh, everyone has to be at the at it all the time. If we don't, we get hurt. And definitely first half. Even though it was a deflected goal, I still didn't like what I saw first half. Second, different. Beauty of this league. Obviously, the games come thick and fast, and we go again on Tuesday night against uh, a tough, a difficult Oxford team. Yeah, every game's tough. Look, uh, I spoke before this game, Exeter are, uh, are a good side. I don't feel like any game is going to be... Uh, I don't think I'll ever feel like this. Any game is um, is going to be an easy sort of match-up. Um, I hope none of my players think like that. I'm pretty sure they don't. We just had an off-half. Um, but yeah, big game at Oxford and um, we got a big week. So um, yeah, it didn't start very well this game. Um, but yeah, we've got two big games to come.